All right, we're here for take two. <laughs> well, <laughs> well here's, here's the thing. Here's the thing. We get this brand new camera, and somebody sets up the camera. He goes, uh, uh, I don't know how to turn it on. So I go back, I turn on the camera, I sit back down, and we record 25 minutes. And I just want to say, I was especially charming and funny. He was really funny. And, you yeah. know, top of my game. Spontaneous. We, yeah. We put the thing on, on the editor. Yeah. And every shot comes to here with the framing. It's, well, there's. It's, it's the bottom of my face. Yeah. And I'm like, oh, it's useless. We have to do the whole thing. Oh, Welcome to Sundays with Shifty Rock. Rock. I'll show you what we do with this. <laughs> you should have seen him. When he discovered that most of that last recording had most of our heads cut off, let's just say <laughs> a disappointed Chris is not a Chris that you want to spend the afternoon with. All right, I can be a little... Just yeah. saying. Well, okay, so... I had set it up. Normally, he makes sure that people are in the shot, and I had only set it up to, you know, generally to point this up, way. To point this way, and I, I did not communicate clearly enough. We had a lack of communication. Yes, Can you we imagine did. that? We did. I am, I am sorry about that. That was an area in which I could have done something different, which is about as close. <laughs> which about as about close. We have. An almost apology on record from Siobhan. Wow. Mark your time. It is 11.48 on June 3rd. I'll rewind what, what all we talked about. Okay. I'm wearing a San Diego t-shirt. We Let talking me just make about sure you're weight. still in the shot so we don't lose you again here. Don't touch the camera. I'm not even thinking of touching it. Okay. You Boy, it's right at the top of your head. Well, that's because I'm taller than you think I am. Okay. All right. Go I'll ahead. Set up again. Okay. Anyway, she mentioned her weight. I said, I've got a t-shirt on from our first year anniversary. It's from the San Diego Zoo, from the panda exhibit. And you notice, I still fit in it. Now, she, she, I'm lucky I still have this because I get those, t you get the t-shirts to where they're comfortable. Uh -huh. And I had this one from a, from a race that I ran in Cincinnati, Ohio in 1986. And she threw that away. And, but this race, uh, I was an athlete. I, I swam and I played basketball. And then I hadn't, you know, I pretty much uh, drank for four years in college. And I hadn't worked out in a long time, but this cute girl that cute I worked girl with. Cute girl in Cincinnati that he worked with. The uh, motivating factor. Yeah, no, 5K no. race? Sure, I'm there. Yeah, I'm in. I'll run. <laughs> yeah, I used to run. Sure, I can run. So I start this race out and I start, and I'd never run a race before. I knew nothing about racing. <laughs> so the gun goes off and I start booking. And, uh, and he's used to playing I'm, basketball and swimming. He's sprinting. I'm blazing by everybody. I'm like, wow, these people are so slow. <laughs> I'm just, you know, I'm booking. And uh, I hit about the mile and a half mark. And it was like somebody hit me in the gut with a shovel. My body buckled. It buckled right over. I was looking at my feet. I couldn't look anywhere but my feet. I just... And, and my feet were going about two inches at a stride. But my pride would not allow me to stop. Everybody at that point is passing me. It was like everybody... There were wheelchairs going by me. And, you know, but, I, but the only thing I thought was, I can't let that girl catch up to me. And I swear, I, I went the next mile and a half like that. Like, uh, uh, the closest to death I've ever been. I swear to you. Oh. At the end of it, you ran into uh, Cincinnati Reds Stadium. And you got to run around the bases. Mm. with the stadium all full of people, which was so cool. And I got it back right as I was walking in the stadium. So, going to the stadium, I'll run around the bases. <laughs> and, uh, and I still beat the girl. Yeah. Which is the only important thing. Yes, yes, that's important. Yes. Uh, well, contrast that to my first race, which was that I wanted to run in a three-mile race. So, I found one. And I got all trained up for it. And for three months, I worked with a trainer. And I was not an athlete in high school. I'm not quite sure what I was in high school. I don't remember most of it. But I was not an athlete. <laughs> you were you weren't in high school. I was running. <laughs> you have to be in high school to be <laughs> running from the an law. athlete in high school. <laughs> so I was more of a sprinter. <laughs> I had to. I knew from his experience that I had to take it slow and easy. Slow and easy wins the race. 
Well, slow and easy doesn't win the races. In yeah, front. slow and easy comes in 51 out of 54. And yeah, it was such a great experience. And Siobhan cries at cereal commercials. <laughs> but you know how when you set a goal for yourself and it seems <laughs> totally insurmountable, like I'll never be able to do this because this is really hard. I mean, for, so I'm up there on the dike and then all of a sudden I thought after it was after about the first half mile and I thought, wow. I'm doing this. I'm running. I'm in a race. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. So I was on the front page of the newspaper this week, Times Leader, on uh, whatever day it was, Friday, June 1st. There I am, right there. And I was on the front page of the Citizen's Voice, uh, whatever June Well, it's a, a right little here. bit of Where's Waldo with him. I mean, with me, it's like me and my name. Oh, sure. It's, it's important that her picture is bigger on the front page. And the with my name. Uh, so, yeah. So but was I cool. was quote in the newspaper. You were quoted in the newspaper. Quoted in the newspaper. Oh, that's right, with the Downtown Residents uh, Association. That mm -hmm. was nice. And I actually had a letter to the editor in the newspaper this week. I don't know how to write. And then I had another letter to the editor in the newspaper. You had so two letters? I had oh, the well, same letter to two different in, newspapers. Exactly. So. Oh, uh, see, you always have to ask the second question with right. me. Right. Well, okay. So I maybe I don't get double points on that, but I should at least get a point and a half. We do have something else to tell you, which is... Oh, here. The literary experience of a lifetime! Oh, wait, I forgot the drum roll. Okay, sorry, right, sorry, sorry, I did the drum roll last time. <laughs> the literary experience of a lifetime! Now, what I'm doing is I'm reading Ulysses, and the reason why I'm reading Ulysses is... Modern Library said that the best book of all time was Ulysses. So. Mm -hmm. The cool thing in the foreword of the book, because I started the book, the foreword in the book is apparently this was part of a big obscenity trial in 1933. Now, the standard for obscenity has changed a little bit. What Joyce was trying to do at the time was get into the mind of the characters. It's a 1933 U.S. District Justice uh, John Woolsey decision. And he said, in respect of the recurrent emergence of the theme of sex in the minds of his characters, it must always be remembered that his locale was Celtic and his season, spring. <laughs> so if you're Irish in the spring, you can't help but think of sex. The judge puts right in his decision, Ulysses is not an easy book to read or to understand. <laughs> Which means he didn't get through it either. <laughs> yeah. Knowing all that, I start the book. I made it two pages in. Uh, in the two pages that I've read, they've mentioned Jesuit, so I think there's something about priests. There are two characters I've met so far. Um, I forget what their names are. One shaving the other, and I'll be honest with you, I was a little sleepy, so I don't know which one was doing the shaving and which one was... I'm, I'm interested to find out why one man was shaving another, if it, unless we're in a barbershop or something. No. No barbershop? Apparently this book is, is how do I say this, layered and, and uh, parallels other books. Like Homer. Like The Odyssey and things of that Not sort. Not Odyssey Fitness, mind you. No. The Odyssey. <laughs> and anyway, but... And they mention in the in the court opinion that it should be read with other satellite books. So not only am I taking on <laughs> a friggin' 781-page book that's like mud, you're supposed to read other books with it? I mean, come on, give me a break here. I, I should have got Lolita. Uh-huh. You know, then I could have been reading about the pervy guy, and it's probably a lot shorter, too. And blog of the Week. June 5th which is Tuesday. actually Tuesday. I had told you Wednesday at last 4 week. Sorry. Uh, at 4 p.m. on PA Live, which is on WBRE TV, um, we are going to be featured as the blog of the week. Now, I think so um, please tune in or set your DVR. And it's been a delight, as always. And I love having you here, and thank you so much for tuning in. We look forward to seeing you next week, and have a great week. <laughs>